Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be setting up a fun planner project and I'm going to be using some pocket pages from the Happy Planner. So I've got that right here as well as the sticker sheets I plan on using as well as the sticker books which I pulled from. Okay, so this video is going to be about making kind of like a fun inspirational page for the beginning of my faith planner. I did something similar in the beginning of 2019 for my health planner, as you can see here, and I think it turned out really cute. It was um, just based off of healthy habits, just to kind of keep that in mind, and I thought it would be perfect to use these faith stickers to do kind of a similar thing. So for that one, I used blank cardstock and did the front side, and then the back side was actually a divider that I cut up to fit, which I will show you here in a second. And yeah, so I cut it up and it was just one divider that was a like an inspirational quote, and I thought it'd be really cute on the back of it. I did two separate cuts in pages and put them together in this one. But this time I'm going to use this divider as an inspiration. Uh, I want that to be the back of the pocket pages. And then I noticed that the back side also has a really pretty pattern. So my idea, instead of actually cutting up this divider, was to take a picture of it and then print it out so that I can cut it and manipulate it how I want to for it and I can keep that divider. That's what I'm going to do. I'll just show you guys how that process is going to be and how I'm going to set it up using Microsoft Word so you guys can do this with any image that you find for your planner and kind of do the same thing. I'm going to be doing it double-sided so it'll just be one page double-sided and I did a grayscale so that the front side with the stickers won't be too colorful. All right, so let's go into Microsoft Word and I'll show you how I did this. Okay, so basically you just want to open up a blank document and then go ahead and locate your image that you want to use. I'm just taking the picture that I used and I'm going to drop it in here. So this was the original picture of the divider that I want to use. And then I am going to crop it. So I first am making it big, but I've noticed that it works a little better too if you crop it before you enlarge it, which you'll see. Because I was I lost track of where the crop marks are. You're looking for a different type of crop mark on the actual sheet. So let me pull that up. There we go. So that's what you're looking for. So you get the little corners there and you can make the crop marks how you see fit. The page size that you actually want to be at is 6 by 8, even though that's not a traditional classic happy planner size. There are three squares across and four down, and so each square is a 2 by 2, or 2 inches by 2 inches, to fit in the pockets, because there is space around the pockets that kind of spread them out. So whatever image you're going to use, you want to crop it to 6 by 8, and then I am actually kind of centering my page so that it doesn't cut straight through the beautiful, um, which is centered on the page. So I'm shifting it up a little bit so that you know, I can cut below beautiful so that it doesn't break right through the word. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm just man manipulating it, trying to make sure it's all even Steven. And then you want to center it as well on the page before printing because there is a backside as well. And I want to make sure that they're both right on top of each other when I cut. I don't want to have any issues. Another thing you will probably want to do is add just a smidge larger than you need. So I have the actual size being 8 by 6, but you probably want to add at least eighth to a quarter of an inch on each side so that when you trim it, you're not going to have any white space because sometimes you know when you print back to back, the printer is off just a smidge or a little bit and you just want it to be cropped right on top of each other. So it helps to make it a little bit bigger and then you can cut off the edges and make it a perfect fit. Okay, I went ahead and printed that and so now we will see when I printed both sides. 
it all turned out good. Then you can kind of see how it is smaller than the page size, but like I said, when we cut it up, you will see how that all comes into play by using the two by two square inch rule. So I did extend the margin just a little bit, and as you can see, that was helpful because even though I might cut something right on the line on the front, the back might not be lined up the same, so that little extra amount of room really helps. And I'm trimming this guy, and I wanna see how close I have on each side just to make sure that I can get a six by eight rectangle and everything be cut so there's no extra white space. And now I'm cutting them into the two by two squares, which you're seeing me do here. Once that's done, we will be all set. And now I kind of like to play the puzzle piece, put it all together so I make sure that when I am designing the sheet that I have the front and the back aligned properly. So now I'm just flipping it so that the front side, which is where I'm going to be putting the stickers, is ready to go and then I know that the back will be in the same alignment. Here comes the easier part, <laughs> just putting some stickers on the page. I decided to grab some wreath circle stickers from the farmhouse sticker book and use those as kind of a little bit of decorative interest. I also had uh, originally printed this out as a sample with the color and I decided the grayscale was much better to give a neutral background for this guy. Um, I kind of wish I would have lightened it a little bit more because it is still pretty strong with the pastel colors, but I think overall the gray was a better way to go to let the color of the stickers kind of pop. So now I'm just kind of laying them down. I predetermined the order because I wanted the colors to all be mixed up. I didn't want anything to look too the same next to each other. And I'm just dropping those in. I also thought about adding more stickers on top of them, but I think the simpleness is good just because the background is so busy. I'll just keep it kind of clean and simple the way you're seeing me do here. Just a little wreath in the corner and the square sticker. So there were only 10 of these types of stickers. And so instead of just leaving it as 10 or trying to find something else that was square but wasn't the same, I decided to look for a couple of stickers to kind of start and end the page. So that's what I'm doing here. I found this square sticker that I think, or it was actually rectangular and you just saw me trim it, that I thought was a good end sticker for this. And I'm just trying to align it because it's not quite square. I want to make sure that it's centered on the, the square that I'm using there. And then I grabbed a few little gray leafy branches from the farmhouse as well to tie those top and bottom stickers together and kind of start and end the section. On a whim, I decided to kind of place those two extra pieces of stickers here since they're kind of a neutral background and use that for the quote because I knew that the quote was going to get lost on that busier background. So I think that worked out really well and the colors are all matching and I'm using the stickers and so I think that was a good decision there on the fly. And now I'm just putting in a few of those gray branch leaves to tie those two squares together, the beginning and the end. Trying to use all the stickers. And now I'm going to go ahead and drop them in. I'm going to make it as clean and as simple as I can. I've had a little trouble getting this guy in because of the sticker, but once I get them all in, I will show you and we will be all done, friends.
So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up down below. Go ahead and leave me a comment if you'd like to get in touch. And think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, if you'd like to see more of my videos. All right, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Bye.